how are you doing? We are in Plaza Catalunya. This is the city center of Barcelona. It's also the entrance to the Gothic Quarter that we're gonna show you in a bit. From over there, you have the bus to go to the airport and from the airport to go into the city. It just costs six euros every time that you catch it, so it's quite cheap. This is also the meeting point for the locals like me. And you have uh, restaurants, you have hotels, you have shops, you have everything you want. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video down below. Portal de l'Angel, this is one of the main streets of Barcelona because of shopping you have all the brands you want and in fact it is called Portal de l'Angel that means Gate of the Angel because of the fact that Barcelona was surrounded by walls in the medieval times and this was the entrance to one of the gates in Barcelona. It is said the legend that uh, an angel appeared to somebody and they used this fact to call it Portal de l'Angel, Gate of the Angel. Hey guys, it's about 20 degrees today. We're standing on top of the Cathedral of Barcelona. You have some great views from up here. It costs about seven euros to enter. That includes the access to the roof. It is free if you come during the weekdays and during the morning, but after 12 o'clock or 12.30, you have to pay to enter. But the benefit of that is you also get access to the roof. Standing in front of the old entrance to Barcelona, this used to be one of the main gates to the old Roman city. And as you can see behind me as well, they have the letters of what the city used to be called, Barcino. Uh, we're going to walk around a little bit more in the old quarter and show you a few more interesting details of the Roman city. I'm 
headed right now to the Plaza del Rey. It's located right next to the cathedral. I highly recommend going to the cathedral when you come to the Gothic Quarter in Barcelona. It's a must-see. The Plaza del Rey used to be, during the medieval times, a trading area, a very important area in Barcelona. And in this square you can also visit the History Museum of Barcelona, which takes you down underneath the city to see the ruins. It's free on Sundays if you go after 3 p.m. The Plaza del Rey also, during the medieval times, was later converted into an important square. It used to be the area or the home for the Count of Barcelona. That's why it's called the Plaza del Rey. Plaza San Jaume and here you have two important buildings the one behind me that is the City Council of Barcelona and the one in front of me that you'll see it now that is the Catalan government called Generalitat over there you just take a street and you're just next to La Ramblas we'll later on we'll show you a little more because this is one of the most important streets in Barcelona La Ramblas standing in Plaza Real. This is one of my favorite squares to come to in Barcelona. It's located right next to Les Arramblas, which is just over there. This is a fantastic square to come to. I would, however, suggest not eating in the square as it's a little bit of a tourist trap and it's very expensive. There are, however, there is a flamenco place just over there, which has decent prices. There's a couple bars around here for decent prices as well. I'll show you in a bit a few other bars that are located behind this square that are a little cheaper to go to and they have cocktails I think for just a few euros with decent sizes so it's a good idea to go there before you go clubbing at night. Another thing about this is that most of the light posts or the first job of Antonio Gaudi was to actually build and design these light posts in Plaza Real. I like it so much. Connects Plaza Catalunya, that is the main square, to the statue of Columbus. Near the statue of Columbus, you'll find live statues. This is also the street where you'll find the market of La Bucaria, where you can eat whatever you want. And this street is also full of tourists and people walking around, eating, and also shopping.
On the morning of January 30th, 1938, during the Spanish Civil War, Franco's ally, Mussolini, attacked Barcelona and the people of this neighborhood used this church as an air raid shelter from the bombing. A bomb landed in the square, leveled the church, only leaving the facade standing, killing over 42 people in the process, including children. If you liked the video guys, we have finished our tour of the Gothic Quarter today. It took us about four and a half to five hours. If you really want to see everything going inside the cathedral, going to the plazas, going to La Pocaria, the markets and everything, just in the Gothic Quarter. Right now we're in the Museo Frederic Mares, which is located just near the cathedral. It's a little hidden away, you have to find it, but it's a nice quiet area if you want to take a few minutes to sit down and relax and maybe have a picnic. I hope you liked the video guys. Be sure to like the video down below and subscribe and check out my other videos if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.